Hello YouTube, Daniel from Maximum Photoshops back here with another tutorial for you guys. So let's get right into it. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really cool looking nebula space effect in Photoshop completely internally without using any images from the internet. So let's get right to it. Let's right click and make a new document. Let's make the width 1440 pixels and let's make the height 1226 with a resolution of 72 pixels. Hit OK. The first thing we're going to do is fill our first layer with black by clicking G. And make sure you're selected with the paint bucket tool, not the gradient tool. Make sure the black is your foreground color and go ahead and click on the layer. Now we're going to double click here, open up our gradient overlay. Make sure that our overlay is blend mode normal. Opacity, let's make the opacity 49%. Click reverse make it radial and make the scale 88. Now what you're going to do is instead of hitting your layer styles, you're going to go and click on your screen and drag upwards and position it somewhere around here to have a half circle at the top of your screen, maybe a little bit less. There you go. Hit OK. The next step is to go ahead and make a new layer and fill it with white. Now what you're going to do is go to filter render lighting effects. Here is my computer starts being a little laggy. But you're going to come up with a different screen. What are you going to have to do is go ahead and instead of you know messing with the settings, go to custom and go ahead and click RGB. Now let's find that. RGB lights right there. Hit OK. And you'll get something like this. Don't mess with the settings, just click OK. So now we have our lights. Very good. First thing we want to do is to resize it and make it a little bit smaller. So let's click Control T. And while holding Alt and Shift, you're going to drag to the center a little bit. So I'm going to resize it somewhere around there. And click Enter. The next step is we still want the background to be black of this image. So we'll create a new layer on top of it. Put it behind our lighted layer. Hit G for the paint bucket tool once more and make sure black is your foreground color and click. Now we need to combine those layers. So you're going to hold this layer, hold shift while clicking on the other lighted layer and click control and E. And that is going to combine your two layers. So the next step is to go ahead and make a Gaussian blur on this. So let's go ahead and go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now you want the blur to be somewhere around 80 pixels. Very good. Now set this from normal to overlay. Nice. And you should get a somewhat dark red dot on the top of your screen. We're going to go ahead and make the dot a little lighter just by increasing the opacity of our uh, gradients. There you go. So next create a new layer and fill it with black again with the same technique we used before. And now we're going to go ahead and add some stars. So we're going to go to go and filter. What did I just say there? Go to go? No. We're going to go to filter, noise, and add noise. Now make sure the amount is 10%. The distribution is Gaussian and monochromatic is checked. Monochromatic is just going to make it so there's no other colors. You see there's many colors here. Monochromatic is just going to make it black and white, which is what we need. And hit OK. Now we're going to go to image, adjustments, and levels because we want some stars. So the first number is going to be 65, the next one is going to be 1.00, and the last number is going to be 99. And that's going to show some stars on the screen. Now we're going to go to normal and we're going to make sure that it's on screen. There you go. Now we have some stars on our screen. Very good. Now we're going to make a new layer. We're going to go to make sure that our Foreground and background colors are black and white. Now, if they're not, you can click V, or you can click this button right here, which is going to set them to standard. Let me show you. If I make it red, if I hit V, it's just going to make it to black and white. Very good. So let's go to Filter, Render, Clouds. That's great. Now, when we render the clouds, we're going to hit double click here to open our layer styles panel. Now the first window, blending options, you're going to make sure that it's on 
overlay. And you can already see we're getting that cloudy effect right here. And we're going to go ahead and add a gradient overlay to it. Now make sure that the blend mode is also on overlay. Now let's go ahead and make our gradient. Go ahead and take the rainbow gradient that Photoshop comes with standard. Take the last color red, click delete. Last purple, click delete. Last blue, click delete. All right, now we're left with four colors. Drag this turquoise color to the end and evenly space them out throughout the gradients. Now the red will make it a little darker. The yellow will leave the same. The green will make it a little bit darker. Just by dragging down there. And blue will make a little bit darker by doing that. There you go. Now we're going to make the angle somewhere around 141 and the scale somewhere around 47. 46, 47. That seems about right. Now the last step is to click on your background layer where you had the lighting effects. That's a pretty cool effect too, but we're not going to look for that. And we're going to make a new layer on top of it. And we're going to fill it with black, again, by the same effect. And we're going to go ahead and filter, render, and lens flare. Now make sure that it's 105 millimeter prime, brightness is 100%, and position it somewhere around in the mid-right section of your screen. Hit OK, and you should get this really cool nebula looking effect. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me. I'm going to come up with a lot of new tutorials for you. So if you hit subscribe, it's going to help both of us. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. I'll make sure that the PSD is in the description. Bye-bye for now.